Hey everyone. Hi. How are you? Happy Monday. Happy Monday after the holidays. Last Monday was weird because it was like in between holidays and it didn't feel like a Monday. Today definitely feels like a Monday. Back to the grind. I know many people are back to work. Kids are back to school. It's awesome. It's really great. And I feel a lot more organized than I have been feeling as of late. Um, I wanted to come on here though, just really, really small, quick video and talk about embracing the do-over. <laughs> and this is all coming to light because yesterday was the weirdest day. I mean, it's laughable how ridiculous it was. We're talking, Ruby was sick, my, my husky was sick. Um, we had a power outage. My phone crapped out on me and I had to go get a new phone. Um, I, plus I had four videos that I had to record for Patreon, which I love doing. And I, I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist with those. Um, and my mentorship started, which was awesome. I had all these welcome videos and, and you know, getting people. So, but in the midst of like all the things that I love to do, like the videos and the mentorship and stuff like that, I just kept having these like crazy things happen, like a power outage, really? Like, what is that about? And I had to leave in the middle of the day to go get a new phone. I mean, it was just like, and my dog was still sick. I can't think, I can't remember what else happened, but there was just like these really crazy things that were happening. And I was like, this is laughable. This is a ridiculous day. So by the time I got to doing our live readings, I just felt like my light was a little dimmer, you know, and it happens. I mean, this is life We're we're here in life. And I mean, they weren't bad, but I just feel like they weren't really like all that great. So, hey, everybody who's popping on. Um, but I did them anyway, but what I don't like is I don't like going to bed at night feeling like something is unfinished, something like that at least. And I was really unsettled. So this morning I had a few things to do, and but I knew I was going to come back here and I knew I was going to come back on and do another video. I just, I just knew it. I was like, I'm going to go back on and... I was thinking about how even like a few years ago, I probably would have wrestled with that because um, there's a lot I think that goes through our head when we think about when we feel like we've messed up. Yes, Ruby's great. In fact, here, if I can turn my camera around, she's sitting here on my floor playing with a toy and there's my other little boy. They're having a nice little sleepy morning. So I think that when you, when you acknowledge that you didn't give something your best or you feel like you messed up, there's a lot that goes on and I'm just kind of like seeing how far I've come and the fact that there was no self beat up. There was no self, there was nothing. There was only like a deep sense of compassion for how weird yesterday was for me and the feeling of like, I can do it again. I can just go on and do it again. But when I compare that to like the person I used to be, cause I, I think that my greatest downfall has been perfectionism. If it's not perfect, then I'm, then I'm not perfect. Right. And I just loved that I embraced the do-over the way that I did. It was just, I think, I hope that you guys that are on a healing path, a path of self-development, um, I hope you have those moments where you're like, wow, I used to freak out over this and I just don't anymore. Or I, this used to be a bigger deal than it is to, to me today. Or um, a failure doesn't mean what I, it used to mean. Or messing up doesn't mean anything, you know? So I've come to look at do-overs as an act of self-love and compassion. And if you can get yourself to the point where you can quickly go into a do-over, be like, oh, that wasn't great, I'm gonna do it over. Um, I just feel like it's it's you letting yourself off the hook, it's you b coming out of a more of a relaxed um, state of living. Um, and you know, I just committed to never beat myself up over anything. And that commitment is unwavering. And so there is no self beat up. So I'm just inviting you. I don't know where you are with this. Everybody's kind of on their own journey. And some people may have already mastered this. And you're like, well, yeah, dog crystal. Well, this is something that I've mastered finally. And it really came about with looking at my reaction to what happened and how I handled it. So I did do a do over. I did just put up um, a YouTube video. And it's not the same. I didn't do like a weekly readings like I usually do it. I just did a general reading uh, Patreon style. And it was freaking awesome. Like, I needed that reading. It was a great reading. I think anyone who watches that is going to get something out of it. And my light was on. My inner light is what I mean. You know, and I just feel like I brought it like I normally do. So, um, 
And the other thing is that do-overs are a vibrational alignment to the positivity of the universe. And what I mean by that is that God gives us do-overs. There's always another chance. There's always another opportunity. There's always another ship coming in. And when we limit that ourselves and go, nope, I screwed it up. There's no going back. I think what we do is we, we become out of alignment with truth. And the truth is that you can never screw anything up. This is planet Earth school. That's what we're here to do is to learn. And so there should be a thousand do-overs for you. And if we look at it from that point of view, there really isn't such thing as a do-over, but just I learned that I'm growing. I learned that I'm growing. I learned that I'm growing. I get to choose differently this time. This is like the melding pot of every experience you could possibly think of. Everything you could possibly dream of experiencing, you can experience in this Planet Earth school. It's like, I don't know if you guys were Trekkies. I love just Star Trek. The holodeck, right? They had this like thing on the ship that they could like, I want to experience this experience. And they, they would go into this holographic you know, continuum and they could experience that. This earth is the same thing. And so you can experience something as many times as you want to get it right. Some of us do that with relationships. Some of us do that with money. Some of us do it with spirituality. Some of us have, you know, bounced around or, or we've dabbled in so many things. And it's all, we're the only ones that put a limit on that. We're the only ones that are like, oh, I guess I can't figure it out. Yeah. Nobody's figuring it out. Everybody is doing over. Every single day is a do-over. Every day the sun comes up, do-over, do-over, do-over. So if you ever get into a situation where you're like, man, I just didn't do my best, or man, I lost out on that, nobody loses out on anything. You can ask the universe right now, Get on, say a little prayer. Hey, I need a do-over. I know better now. I want another chance to put my, my knowing, my, my wisdom, what I've learned into play now. Uh, just a, a really small example of a life do-over for me. Um, my oldest son, I, we were kind of in a situation when he moved out of the house initially. He moved out at 18, and I had a lot of mother guilt around that and really struggled with the fact that I didn't feel like I had enough time with him. I just didn't. Um, there was just a lot of drama in my life at that time that I was putting my focus on other things, and... Mother guilt sucks. I don't know if you guys have ever had that. I hate mother guilt. So I remember um, having a moment where I was like, if there are unlimited amount of do-overs, I want to do-over with my son. I want more time with him. I feel like I lost out time with him. And I know that God can't, you know, turn back time like Cher. And, you know, I can't go back to when he was 16, 17, whatever. But what happened was when he moved out here to Arizona with me, he moved in, like he came with me. And I've had the last two years of time with him. And so anything's possible. God can give you your time back with people. He can give you your time back. I mean, obviously there's circumstances. If somebody has crossed over and you ask for time back with them, maybe it looks different. You know, maybe you start working on your mediumship skills and you start talking to the deceased loved one. Or, um, you know, everything, I, again, I couldn't turn the, top, the time back. I can't get time back with my son as a 16 and 17 year old, but I got time back with him now. I feel like our relationship is the better than it's ever been. And so, and, and we didn't ever think he'd move back in with me, right? And, and I'm sure that whatever your circumstances, if you just kind of put that out there and just be like, I want to do over, that's what this life is all about. So the only reason you might not be getting a do over is that A, you might not be recognizing what the do over looks like, or B, you have limited yourself to being able to go back into an experience to master it. So do-overs are great. Embrace it. If you feel like you've messed up on something, it is never too late. You are never too old. It, there's not enough time. The time has not gone by. Again, you are in planet. Remember where you are. This is the holodeck of the universe. You can experience anything you want. Just ask, open yourself up for it. And look for an opportunity to have your own do-over do in whatever way you want. So this was a really deep way of saying your readings are up. <laughs> Go look for that YouTube video. I posted them on this page and on my personal page and on my Watch Me Rise group. And um, yeah, if you're having mother guilt, ask for a do-over with your kids. Miracles happen. It might look different than you thought. But there's always an opportunity to get it right. All right, you guys. I love you so much. 
Sending you so much love, light, and everything right. Angel blessings until we meet again. Mwah.